Okay. Um, yeah. So we had uh, Expo yesterday, and we, you know, uh, we presented our project, and it went really well. Um, there was different, uh, you know, the. I don't want to say it was a contest, but uh, we were graded on different criteria. You know, the presentation, the design, and some other stuff that I'm not really sure. We had some judges, and you know, projects were divided into their. Um, uh, you know, like we have the finance projects, some machine learning projects, some social projects, they were all divided into different categories. And in our category, um, thanks to the work of the team, we were selected one by the judges. Oh, nice. Congratulations. Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it was really great. So, yeah. I Which think... category did you win? I, I couldn't hear the name of the category because there was a lot of that's, okay. Uh, sound but i think we had some you know like the, in the technical area like we had some machine learning and some physics stuff also i think some math related stuff and finance you keep the poster yeah yeah okay. uh, it's, it's gonna need that my part yeah um yeah so that was great <laughs> uh yes yeah, so expo people were interested in and yeah, it was great. So I just had some uh, feedback for on the yeah. post. Make sure to put that on your resume. Like not just like like to you in the case competition, but make sure a bullet point list like you came in first in whatever oh. category. It's definitely more look good. Got it. We'll definitely do that. Uh, so these are just the common questions that we had from the people. So first one was like, can individual investors use this? Uh, the way I answer it is yes, they can, but it might not be feasible for them. Just you know, because you have to do like tune, you have to tune your uh, portfolio, and you know, for individual investors, it, it may take a lot of time, and it might not be you know, you might not gain that much compared to mm -hmm. institutional investors. So that's how I have answered this. And to the two other questions, I mean, I could have combined them into one question, but they were these two were common. So people were uh, people were thinking about our model and the strategy. They think like they came in a package. We have a strategy and we have a model that we use it on. Mm -hmm. um, I had to explain it like we have a framework and portfolio manager can use it the way that he or she wants. You know, we do not come up with a strategy. It's up to them. It's up to their, you know, knowledge, their knowledge of the factors, the economic conditions and everything. And yeah, um, so this was the first question. And the second one was, you know, when we introduced, uh, because people are really not familiar with factors. I and mean, even I wasn't very familiar with before I started with the project. And um, they, they were asking like, do you have like, like, can you predict it? Like, do you have any indicators? For the market trends, the factors, their returns, and everything. So this, these were common questions that we had, and the reason I think we got the questions, like the last two questions, was the chart that we had. You know, because as you can see, um, our uh, optimized portfolios mm -hmm. performed better than the S and P five hundred. So people, I, I'm assuming, people thought, oh, you guys have a strategy that beat the the market, um. I guess you know the questions came after we explained the uh, uh, we explained the uh, poster. So mm -hmm. yeah, uh, I mean it was great. You know it was a practice to explain the model in a simpler terms because people are like they don't know anything about it. So yeah, uh, it, it was a good experience. It was a good experience, uh, definitely. Um, but it went well, and um, yeah, people were. Um, yeah, they were interested in they had they asked some good questions and yeah, it was a great event. Um, so this is the simulator that we told you about. Um, so all of us created our portfolios mm -hmm. and this is the you know the UI for the investor video simulator. On the left hand side, we sh each each one of us see our individual uh, you know overview and performance of our portfolios. Uh, the good thing they have it. Uh, you can compare your portfolio to S&P 500. Uh, I mean, it's just one week right now. There's not much history, but um, yeah, it's been fun. I've been tracking it and looking at the companies that the model gave me and trying to learn more about them. And on the right-hand side, uh, you can see uh, the assets that you own, 
and you know their their movements and like the information regarding to them um yeah so this is this is how the simulator thing works right now and so next step about the strategy um i've been recently you know trying to figure out a way to uh use like the fact like using the factor returns and like being able to forecast them like how can we do this and i came across the arima models i'm pretty sure uh, you heard of them before so mm -hmm. So yep. they comment some machine learning and some linear regression stuff into together. And I want to go into this direction, but I just want to get your ideas first. You know, is this something that you guys use in Hamilton Lane? Is this something that, you know, 